We kept on telling people to leave the crash site, but people wouldn't listen and more kept coming, said Mohammed Rizwan, a police official. We knew it was dangerous, and if there were more cars and bikes, the casualties would have been much higher. The explosion left most of the bodies charred beyond recognition, and the death toll could rise because dozens of victims are still in critical condition, the Associated Press reported, citing Dr. Mohammed Baker, a senior rescue official in the area. At least 73 motorbikes and several cars were also destroyed in the blast, which occurred the day before Pakistan celebrates Eid al-Fitr, the Muslim holiday at the end of Ramadan. The injured were taken to the district hospital and Victoria Hospital in neighboring Bahawalpur, but the response was hindered by a shortage of facilities to treat burn victims. Arrangements were being made to take the seriously injured to a hospital in Multan, about 80 miles to the north, which has a burn treatment unit. The Pakistan Army said it had sent two helicopters to help with the rescue efforts. Abdul Rashid, 30, one of those injured, said he and his friend had joined in collecting the spilled fuel after passing by the area and seeing people trying to scoop it up from the overturned tanker. I parked my bike by the road and waited while my friend went to collect the fuel, said Mr. Rashid, who had burns on his hand and a leg. We did not have any bottles, so we asked people and got one. The bot, 